All right, uh, after I spent about 25 minutes trim the surface, remove a lot of clay and uh, finish the, the foot. Now I'm ready to uh, put the uh, black slip and uh, do a little bit of uh, square fiddle and also chattering. Uh, let me show the result uh, before, yeah, before and after. So this is the uh, Black slip before fire, yeah, before fire. Uh, I put it on and then uh, chatter and also uh, used my uh, number 15 uh, square feet or two or two, cut all the detail lines. So that's before fire. This is only the uh, greenware, the okay, greenware. And uh, there's a uh, one uh, sample that it's been fired. And I like the uh, result a lot. So this, this is the uh, exactly the same slip and uh, I brushed a little bit of uh, uh, red iron stain and also the uh, uh, under glazes on top of it and fire through. So it's not a very uh, dark black, but it's kind of brownish black, um, which I like the, uh, the result a lot. So I'm gonna do that, but repeat the same thing, maybe uh, a two third of it, a little bit uh, less than two third of it here. So cheddar and then a screw fiddle here. Okay, so that's the uh, the effect I'm looking for. And this is the uh, black slip. And uh, if you watch all the way to the end of uh, the video, I will give away the uh, uh, recipe of the black slip. So stay, uh, stay put. Actually the uh, clay when I'm trimming, it's a little bit on the wet side, especially the foot. The rim is dry but the foot is kind of uh, soft. As you can tell from the uh, trim of clay. The uh, soft clay that you got, uh, the clay is a little bit larger piece. And when it's dried, uh, it's kind of like so, so dust. So 
I'm using the uh, metal rook to uh, burnish the surface. Right, so for chattering, I would use my number one trimming tool and hold it up a bit longer. So I'm putting this one here because I have uh, lines here to give myself an idea. Uh, I want to divide it uh, equal parts, like eight equal parts. All right, and then I'm going to use the uh, my number, this is called number 15. Scope Fido 2.0. Uh, I have three different sizes, very fine line and medium and the large. I'm using the medium. Right, so that's the uh, finished piece. Salad bowl. Okay, so that's the look. And um, let me show you uh, the uh, before and after. Before uh, I throw, I told you that this is about six pounds. And let's see. Right, so you won't be able to see it from the top, but from the side, uh, it's two and the, almost 13 ounces, two pounds and 13 ounces. So I remove about half of the clay off the foot and the wall. And the whole piece is much lighter. And uh, I pay attention more to the foam than I try to get it as thin as I can, because when it's getting thinner, uh, the, the whole piece is not uh, stay in the shape, especially when it's drying. Sometimes it warp a lot, so uh, I like to uh, keep the shape. So I uh, did the wall a tiny little bit thicker, and then uh, just during the uh, uh, trimming stage, I remove the excess clay off. So that's my strategy for making a nice bowl. All right, two pound and thirteen ounces. Okay, versus six pounds. So about half of the the, uh, the weight. Um, pay attention to all the uh, details. Okay, thanks for watching.